Hello and welcome to another episode of TopFlight.TV. I'm your host, Brian Rote, where we cover all things aviation. Which brings me today to the Merced Municipal Airport, where we had the grand opening event for a new air service available to the local community and the surrounding areas. Here's a little bit of what happened. Enjoy. My name is Ron Elliott and I'm the airport superintendent here at Merced Municipal Airport. Monica Taylor, Director of Sales and Marketing for Great Lakes Airlines. Uh, Great Lakes actually was um, originating in Northwest Iowa back in 1978. Uh, we started in the northwest corner of the state, which there's a group of lakes up there called the Iowa Great Lakes, which is actually where we got our name, not from the real Great Lakes. We originally had our headquarter or our major hub out in Chicago O'Hare and then United had asked us to start doing some flying out of the Denver hub and once we started doing that we were able to see that our, our future was going to be in the Denver market and so we moved our headquarters out to Cheyenne. That's where we are now. We're expanding. We have 27 aircraft in our fleet of the Beechcraft 1900. We also have a 30 passenger Brasilia and we have six of those in our fleet. Uh, we're in current expansion process in which we just started service in, in the California market. So we go as far west as California, as far east as, as uh, Kentucky and Tennessee. And we're currently in 56 cities in a 17 state region. Great Lakes Airlines is the largest essential air service provider in the nation. Uh, the EAS program was originated back in 1978, uh, right after deregulation. The US DOT saw the need to continue having air service in the small communities uh, in order for passengers or for the community members and for others to be able to get out of the, the city into a hub and into the air transportation network uh, for the nation. And now we're able to offer this in Merced and we started that in September 8th of 2008 and we're excited to be here and, and really bring our reliable and dependable service into the community and provide that to the residents and, and business travelers of the area. And Merced's uh, been an essential air service airport since uh, deregulation in 1978. Oh, Great Lakes is the uh, largest EAS provider in the nation. Uh, we're very excited to have them on board. When we selected them a few months ago, uh, we called cities that they'd already served and found out that they were actually very well liked. So we're, we're excited. We continue to expand and, and it's a very exciting time for us. Very unusual in the industry in this time uh, to be doing an expansion. Most airlines are cutting back, going into bankruptcy, cutting their fleets and all of that where Great Lakes is actually in the expansion mode. So it's, it's wonderful for us. Uh, Vincent Fords with Great Lakes Airlines, flying with uh, Alan Thompson today. This is the Beechcraft 1900. It's a turboprop airplane. Um, from Merced to uh, Visalia, we're looking at about a 30 minute flight. Um, air time is about 20 minutes, five minutes on each side for taxi. Into Ontario, it's usually about a 45 minute flight. Again, the five minutes on either side for taxi. Um, on the way down there, we don't get very high, so it's a short flight, so we're usually cruising uh, below 16,000 feet. Into Ontario, we'll get a little higher, usually up to about 21,000 feet. Um, we're cruising uh, about 280 knots, uh, about 300 miles an hour, out of both places. Um, it's a pretty straight shot out of Merced, straight south into Ontario. work for, great people, um, easy to deal with, and uh, we're kind of the workhorse of the airline. We get people where they need to go. Uh, 
Uh, Great Lakes Airlines started service in Merced on September 8th of 2008. Uh, we do daily flights to Ontario right now and our goal is to eventually increase the number of flights. We currently have two flights a day to Ontario and we, our goal is to increase the number of flights and then maybe eventually once the, the number of people increase to a really good number where every flight is full out of here, we'll be able to look at doing different destinations. The possibility of going into Las Vegas I know is, is a, a really big deal for the area, so we're hoping to continue to expand everything and, and become a very viable player in, in the Merced area. Today was, a, uh, today was a great day at Merced Municipal Airport. We just had a little ribbon cutting grand opening for Great Lakes Airlines. They actually started back on September 8th. So today, September 30th, uh, they had the grand opening. Uh, the first week we only sold eight tickets and that was uh, just getting the airline started. But since then we've uh, upped those ticket sales to 40 this week and I've already got 80 advanced ticket sales in the next couple of weeks. So we're growing up almost exponentially. Very excited about the type of business and the number of tickets that we're selling and our location going to Ontario, Southern California. Okay. You know, last Sunday was incredible because within three weeks of the airline starting, we had a full sold out flight coming from Ontario to Merced. So we were very excited about having that happen so soon in their history. Yeah, Merced Municipal is an awesome uh, airport and it provides the economic opportunity that it provides the city with uh, businesses uh, to be a viable growing community. In today's world, people want airline service or if not even airline, at least be able to buy, uh, to get on a corporate jet for charters or air taxi, which we provide here at uh, Merced Municipal. Uh, so it's a great economic boom. And the other great aspect of having an airport here locally is now with the UC, my understanding is 25% of the students out of UC Merced come out of the uh, Southern California basin. So we're really hoping that the parents and the students will use it going both ways. And one of the great things about Merced Municipal is we have a full service FBO. Gateway Air Center has been here for a number of years. They provide anything that you need for uh, general aviation aircraft up through turboprops. Uh, we also, they're also a full uh, fuel provider, so you can buy your fuel off their two trucks at, if that uh, is a convenience towards you, or you can get your own fuel at our self-service island. Mm -hmm.